It's the creek. Oh, slippery. Cool little creek. It looks like it'd be a good spot to come um, swimming and fishing in the summer. I have to stop here next time when it's summertime. Let's go back into the prairie and then head back to the car. Kind of walked a little bit of nice little hike. There's all kinds of trails here. They had signs back there saying you can see wildlife. I thought that was pretty cool. I'll show you guys the signs here in a minute. But yeah, um, this is a cool little valley. Just found it off the side of the road. Coming back from Northern California. The sign said to tread lightly and to be quiet because you might see some wildlife somewhere. Maybe a Bigfoot even. It's pretty amazing out here. It's a nice day. A little bit of drizzle. I don't mind though. I love the rain. Beautiful out here. Oh yeah, the car's not that far. Could take a little hike though, up the creek trail. Yeah, I watch a lot of YouTube, a lot of people that live in Japan and they're always outside hiking and checking out the local areas. And I'm like, man, I wish I could do that. I wish I could go to Japan and check out the sights and the scenery and the culture, but they're not letting anybody fly in at the moment. But you know, I started thinking, California is a pretty beautiful state, so, you know, if you want to be an explorer, might as well start with what you got, work with what you got. So here I am, checking out the scenery here in California. I love it up here, man. It's so beautiful. Rain. So I encourage anybody watching this movie, watching this video, if you feel like... You want to get out and explore, but it's too far away. It costs too much money. You know, the list goes on. I encourage you to just step out your own backyard and go explore the scenery wherever you live at the moment. Don't let distance or money or anything stop you because if you really want to explore, just do it. You won't regret it. Wow, it's beautiful right here. I thought I seen some deer earlier, but I think it was this piece power rock over here. The car is back there. Not too far away, so we're gonna walk this way on a well established trail. Now we'll, we'll go around that way and then loop back to the car. Yeah, I just went to Klamath and caught some lamprey eels, and uh, I think what well, Clear Lake's not that far away from Northern California, but. I was stuck in the car for too long, so I figured I'd pull over, go to the restroom, and I seen this little spot. And it said there's trails and stuff, so they had a restroom back there, so I used the restroom. Then I seen this older couple hiking. They had hiking sticks and rain jackets on. I asked them where, what was around. They said, the creek's right over there. And then they said the field's over here, you can check out the field. 
So we're gonna go check out this rock pile over here. Looks pretty interesting. Might have been a structure maybe at one time. Yeah, native people used to live in this valley. I'll have to show you all the signage back there. I love these. I love these right here. These bushes. I forget what they're called. They're kind of oily. Whatever they are. They smell pretty good too. Mountain balm, I think it's called. It smells so good. Medicinal plant for sure. Oh, we got some hippie, hippie stuff going on over here. They said you can see elk hanging out. I haven't seen any wildlife except birds. to go explore up, up in there but probably just stick to the trail today the car's not that far away head back there I guess the rain's starting to come down now gotta re waterproof my jacket one of these days Beautiful around here. I love being outside. There's an interesting looking tree up there. Roots. <laughs> Roots, man. Yeah, I took these boots to the river and the ocean and they got salt water on them and they usually ruin shoes. Then I walked through the river, so they got some fresh water on them. Well, brackish water because it's an estuary and then dried them out. No smell, no nothing. No shrinking. Shout out to Timberland. Shoe company, favorite brand. Looks like there's a game trailer right there. How's it going? Good, 
There's a shot of the valley. Beautiful. Trail, trail goes all the way. Probably the end of this little valley here. Creek right there. We'll go check out this gazebo. It's got some information in there. I think I'm just gonna let it roll until I get over there. It might make an interesting video. Hiking video. I see a game trail over there. I, I wish I could get paid for being outside. That would be the best job. I want to be a full-time YouTuber doing outdoor content. Sorry about that shaky video. Just recording this on my iPhone. There's a little bridge over there. Oh, it's kind of muddy. Oh, it's really muddy. Oh no, I to rinse off, walk through the grass here. I have to go to the creek real quick. I think I will. So I get cake going. Oh, it's like clay. Oh no. Anyways, here we go. Here's some information. You guys can pause the video if you like. And then read. So the native people that lived here were the Patwin, Patwin. And the Patwin greeting for welcome was Het Haya Me Henese. Hello. So yeah, you could do all kinds of stuff at this creek. They mentioned some hiking, hunting, camping, wildlife, river rafting, horseback riding, fishing, fishing, photography, bird watching, Cash Creek. That's what it's called. Cash Creek's got it all. Here's some wildlife that you may be able to see if you come here. We got the eagle. The, I don't know what kind of bird that is. Some kind of otter, beaver, black bear. I think that's a kingfisher, mountain lion, great blue heron, and quail. The name some of them. This just mentions that the, this is one of the stopping grounds for the bald eagle when they head north. Give me my buddy. We're probably about right here. Me and my buddy seen about four golden eagles. This is probably Cape Mendocino, so Klamath is probably about right there. Where I was just coming from. We seen all oh, three golden eagles down at the river. This talks a little bit about the Tule Elk. Well, yeah, we're here at Cash Creek. I think I'm gonna go down the creek and uh, step in the water and try to clean my boots off. Pack it in, pack it out. Oh, here's a map. Oh, no maps today, I guess. No geocache either. All right, let's head down the creek. And we'll wrap this video up after that. Fifteen minute video, not bad. Probably perfect amount for YouTube algorithm. Hopefully. This video gets a million views, and I can uh, quit my job and be outside full time. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Be my own boss.
people, when I tell people that, they just kind of laugh at me, but you know what? There's a lot of people out there that they're self-employed, entrepreneur. Step down. Oh. All right, let's get our feet wet. Our boots, anyways. But yeah, this is where I started the trail and I went down, jumped on this river bar, creek bar, and uh, hooked me up to a trail down there. Wash my boots off. So beautiful here. Definitely some fish in this creek. This little hole right over there, I bet you there's some trout in that hole. But yeah, I just wanted to make a video about adventuring and being outside. Oh, got my sock wet a little bit. And shout out to Timberlands, um, hashtag not sponsored, but one day maybe. <laughs> All right, think of my boots pretty much clean now. Clean enough to get in the Subaru. All right, guys, that's gonna conclude this video. Oh man, you know there's some fish down in there. <laughs>